It's in Psalms chapter 1. Glory to God. You know, uh, we're out here today trying to win lost souls to the Lord. That's what we're trying to do. That's why God has given us this little building, Sister Connie, so we can win lost to the Lord. And, and we can see people hurting and see them healed and see them delivered. Lord God, we had somebody come out here last yesterday wanted to meet us out here to pray for their daughter. Glory to God. And, and they uh, found out that it's her liver, and we need to pray for that little girl. That girl's probably, what, ten? Eight. Eight years old, and, and, and too young for her liver to be bad like that. And, and we need to be really praying, people. This is a place where people can come and get help. Uh, we want people to know that this is a place where they can get help, Brother Austin. Yeah. Glory to God. If you got your Bible, turn with me to Psalms chapter 1, beginning in verse number 1. Glory to God, I'm going to try my best to do what God has told me to do. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 1, in verse 1, it said, Blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of the sinners, or standeth in the way of the sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But he delights in is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit, his season, his leaves also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the shaft which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor the sinner in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Heavenly Father, God, as we come to you once again, God, to be able to stand once again behind the sacred desk. God, to be able the word of God. I pray God that you would anoint this word. Anoint us as we bring the word for God. I pray take a call off the altar and purge our lips that will say what does say the word of the Lord. And God, I pray God it may be someone. God, that's here tonight. God, it may be someone out there in live stream tonight. I pray God this word will get a hold of them. I pray that it will get into their hearts tonight. God, I pray Open the windows of heaven and pour out your spirit upon us, Lord. God, you said where two or three are gathered in your name that you're in the midst. And Lord God, we know you're here tonight. God, I felt you all day. And God, we give you the praise. And we give you the glory and the honor. And the church would say amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. You see, we read here in the Bible, Brother Wayne said, Blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of the sinner, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Brother Adam, I thought about this just a minute ago when God showed it to me. Blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of Amen. Glory to God. The Bible tells us, Brother Austin, that when we get saved, we no longer walk with the ungodly. We no longer walk ungodly. Right. Uh, Brother Adam, we're changed. Our life is different. We have changed from the thing that we used to be. We used to be ungodly. We used to be dirty uh, in sin, Brother Gavin, but God came in and saved us. Uh, and He changed our life and He's caused us to live right. right. Glory to God. The Bible says here uh, that nor standeth in the way of a sinner. Glory to God, we need to be a witness. We need to be able to stand and tell that sinner, not try to block him from coming into the house of God, uh, not trying to throw a stumbling block down in front of him uh, and trying to kick him out of the way, uh, uh, not the drug had it, glory to God, uh, or the prostitute. Need to try to lift them up, but we need to try to show them Jesus. Uh, 
We need to let them know that Jesus is alive and well. Amen. Glory to God. He said, uh, don't stand in their way. In other words, don't you stand and cause them not to come to the house of God. Don't you cause them not to be able to come and give their life over to the Lord. Uh, Glory to God. Brother Adam's been a witness. And Brother Adam's been telling people about the Lord. Glory to God. Been inviting people to church. Uh, Glory to God. That's what it's all about is getting out there, Sister Tanya. And telling people about Jesus Christ. Telling the sinners that there is a place that they can come and get deliverance. Uh, that they can come and be set free. Glory to God. Hallelujah, yeah. Brother Austin. He's been talking to them on the internet. And he's been preaching to them and telling them, Glory to God, they got to live right. Amen. You got to live right. Amen. Glory to God, we got to live right. Amen. We can't live a halfway life. Amen. We can't live. I was praying today. And I said, Lord God, I don't want the fire in my altar to go out. But God, I want to be able to help someone make it. I want to be able to let somebody know that this altar is always open for them. A sinner can come and bow down. Glory you might be out there in live stream tonight uh, and you might be watching my live stream. Uh, glory to God can I tell you that we can be a witness for Jesus Christ tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't stand in the way of the ungodly. I mean blessed is a man. Blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Blessed is a man. But when you are saved, and then you go and you listen to them dirty jokes, and you're standing in the ungodly. You're listening to the ungodly. But we're supposed to be able to walk away from it. We're supposed to say, hey, I don't want to listen to that. I've got something matter to tell you about. Can I tell you about Jesus Christ and Him crucified and Him Today. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. <coughs> and in his law does he meditate day and night. Glory to God, Brother Austin. You can be sitting there during the day. Brother Adam, just like you on the garbage truck. You can be out there on the back of that garbage truck, but you can be meditating upon the Lord. Day, day and night, you can be meditating. Lord, God, a lot of people say, oh, why? Do, well, 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 they'll hear me pray. Don't no, meditate. In other words, let it be in your mind. Begin to talk to God in your mind. Begin to talk to God because God hears that. He'll hear, hear you. You can be out there. Uh, glory to God in the noises factory you want to be in. Glory to God, but God will hear you if you begin to meditate upon Him and you begin to call out upon His name. Glory to God, He will come in and He will sit with you. Glory to God, you'll feel that Shekinah glory will begin to come upon you and you'll be able to praise God. You'll be able to lift Him up all through the day. Glory to God, when all hell tries to come against you, you begin to call Hallelujah, the Bible says. And he shall be like a tree planted by rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. And his leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. In other words, God said, And ye shall be planted like a tree. By the rivers of water. Amen. Who's he talking about? He's talking about us. He's talking about the church. Amen. Glory to God. You take a you take a tree that ain't got water. Glory to God. What happens to that tree, Brother Wayne? It dies. It dries up and it dies. Glory to God. But he said, Glory to God, that we shall be like trees planted by rivers of water. In other words, he said, Out of your belly shall flow rivers of water out of your belly shall flow rivers of water glory to God I'm so glad that I know that Jesus lives inside of me brother Austin I'm so glad that I'm a tree planted by the rivers of water that I know glory to God my roots are grounded in the word my roots are grounded in the word of God glory to God I shall not I shall not be moved. Glory to God. Amen. 
by every wind and wave of doctrine that comes along. Right. That blows in and blows them away. That's right. Glory to God. I, I looked on Facebook on the internet, Brother Wayne, and you take an oak tree, and that oak tree is a mighty oak. Glory to God, their roots go down deep. They go deep, Brother Austin. And they bury on down. They can withstand them old wind storms. Glory to God, them winds can come. And they'll rock that old tree. And that tree will come down. And it'll come right back up. Why? Because it's rooted. And it's grounded. How you take some of these little poplar trees. Glory to God, they'll get the winds to come. And snap them right in two. But I want to be a mighty hook. I want to be rooted and grounded in the Word of God. I want to know that Jesus lives inside of me. I want the world to know that He is alive. I want them to know, glory to God, that I am standing for Jesus. Hallelujah. Let this world go by. Hallelujah. Get rooted and grounded in the Word of God. Get rooted and grounded. Glory to God, and ye shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit. Oh, glory to God, if you ain't grounded, and you ain't rooted, and you ain't by the rivers of water like you need to be, then your tree's not going to bring forth fruit. Glory to God, you're not going to be able to bring forth fruit. And the Bible says over in Matthew, he said it's like a tree. Glory to God, a big tree. Jesus came, and he looked, and he seen the fig tree all far off. And he got up to that fig tree, and there was no fruit upon it. And he said, cast it down, and hew it down, and cast it into the fire. And the master said, Moses, let me dig around it. Let me go around it a little bit more. And if you come back the next time, and it's not got no fruit on it, then you can hew it down. But for glory to God, the Bible tells us that we're like a tree. Glory to God, and bring the forth fruit. And if we're not bringing forth I don't want him to cut my tree down. Right. Hallelujah. Sometimes uh, us preachers need to get us some Holy Ghost trimmers uh, and begin to start trimming some things off of people. Uh, glory to God, they need some things trimmed off of them. Uh, they need some things pruned off of them. Uh, glory to God, I've seen people, uh, they'll take in trimmers, uh, Brother Wayne, and they'll take in hedges uh, and they'll begin to smooth them out, uh, cut the rough places off of them uh, and make them and begin to dream us that will be able to be a God. that will be able to pop for God that people will be able to see that we got something inside of us that's worth living for and let them see the fruit of God hallelujah brother Wayne we need to let the fruit begin to blossom out glory to God an apple tree glory to God before it brings forth bring some blossoms. And when them apple blossoms begin to come and the blossoms begin to bloom, glory to God, then the apples begin to come on the tree. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. I want to be an apple on the tree. I want to be an orange on the tree. I want to be a fig on the tree. Glory to God. I want to be a lemon. I want to be a grapefruit. I just want to be a fruit for the Lord. I want to be more than my fruit. It's bringing forth fruit. Glory to God in my tree. He said, and bring forth his fruit in his season. His leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Brother Adam, what you've been doing for the Lord is going to prosper. It's going to prosper. God has seen that. Brother Austin, God has seen what you've been doing. He has seen how you've been witnessing and how you've been talking to people and how you've been telling people. Glory to God, you're going to prosper. Glory to God, you're prospering already in health. Glory to God, God let you live and let you be here today. That's prospering. Glory to God, I want to let you know today, glory to God, that whatever you do for the Lord, God's going to re reward you openly for it. Amen. Glory to God. It says here, it says, And the, the ungodly are not so, but are like 
the shaft which the wind driveth away. Hallelujah. We got people that will come and sit into the house of God. And they're so ungodly. But they'll come in the house of God and they'll worship. They'll pray for people. They'll get up right behind them and lay hands on them and pray for them. Glory to God. They'll get up, Brother Austin, and they'll jump around and they'll dance around. Oh, but Lord to God, they're living ungodly. The Bible said, let the tear grow among the wheat. And he said, in the last hour, get rid of them. I'll destroy them. Glory to God, they come into the house of God, Brother Adam. And they'll come in and they'll put on a show. Glory to God, they'll come in and think and nobody don't know. But God reveals things to us. He said, try the spirits and see if they're of me. Glory to God, Brother White, we got them coming into the house of God. Glory to God, they'll come in and they'll put on a pretty show. Glory to God, they'll fall out in the floor. Glory to God, but that the spirit of God's not nowhere on oh, no. the Yeah. 
Let them believe a lie and be damned. <coughs> Brother Gavin, he said, I'll let them believe it. I'll let them think it. I'll let them think, boy, they're really doing something good. And he said, I'll turn them over to a reprobate mind. I'll turn them over to a reprobate mind. A lot of people says, oh, Brother Miller, you're crazy. No, I ain't. That's what the Word of God says. That ain't what I said. Read the Word. The Word tells you that. He said, I'd rather you be hot or cold than lukewarm. That's the Word of God. I'd rather you be hot or cold Adam, than lukewarm. We've got a lot of lukewarm Christians in the house of God. A lot of lukewarm Christians in the house of God. We've got people today, Brother Austin, They'll talk about God one minute and the next minute they're talking about Satan. That's right. Or filthy conversations coming out of their mouths. That's right. I've had people post something on Facebook while I'm praying for you. I pray that God takes care of that and the next thing you know is blankety blank blank this and blankety Amen. blank that. Glory to God, can I tell you, God is not going to honor that. Glory to God, you just praying in a myth. Glory to God, now if you're a Christian and you call yourself a Christian, Glory to God, and you do stuff like that, shame on you. Right. Glory to God, but if you're a sinner, I can't say nothing. Glory to God, but I can tell you that Jesus died for you. Yeah. And that yeah. brother Josh said he rose on the third day, and he's alive forevermore. Glory to God, he made this third, he's alive. He wants the world to know that Jesus is alive. The Bible tells us, Brother Wayne, that he said, Blessed is the man. Blessed. Blessed. Blessed is a man. Blessed. We're blessed. Amen. Brother Gavin. Amen. We're blessed. Amen. Some people say, Well, Brother Miller, how do you know that God don't like us? How do you know that God don't want us to do these things? Because read the word. Amen. Read the Word of God. The Bible plainly tells us. The Bible tells us that He's not coming back after those. He's not coming back after a church that's playing. He's not coming back after a party. He's not coming back after just a certain. He's coming back after a church that's made their self ready. He 
would lift him up, Brother Wayne. He said, lift me up. He said, I'll draw all men unto you. Man, they'll take everything they can get and not lift up the Word of God. They take that Bible and they twist it to what they want it to say. Brother Adam, the Bible is the seed. Who is the seed? Jesus is the seed. He is the Word. He was from the beginning and He is in the end. He was the seed. Who is the seed? Jesus. And the Bible said to sow a good seed. Who are we supposed to sow? Jesus. Who are we supposed to tell the Word about? Jesus. He didn't say about money. He didn't say that He was money. But He said, I am the seed. I am the seed. He said, sow a good seed. In other words, you sow to Jesus. You tell These preachers will say, No, oh, you sow that into the ministry. You sow a seed. Glory to God, you sow a seed. You sow a seed. Oh, Jesus told his disciples, Brother Wayne, when he sent them out, he said, Don't you ask for nothing to eat. Don't you ask for a place to sleep. And don't you take no strip in your purse. In other words, don't you take nothing from nobody. Don't you ask for no money. Because he said, I will supply all your needs. Some of these preachers are sowing their seed on stony ground. Some of them are sowing it on thorns. But those that sow it out on the good seed, sow it out on the good soil, good ground. Those that sow that seed of Jesus, you tell the world about Jesus, Brother Austin. You don't throw that seed out there on those stony ground. Don't throw it out there among the thorns, but you throw it out there on the good ground. And you tell people about Jesus Christ. Glory to God. I remember years ago, we used to have a little thing like this, and we would put the seeds in our hand, and we would begin to go out and broadcast it, and we would throw the seed in the garden. begin to tell people, uh, hey, we got us a garden growing. Uh, glory to God, pretty soon he's going to bring forth the harvest. Uh, we begin to throw Jesus out. Uh, and we begin to broadcast Jesus. Uh, and let these people out here in Christ to come to know that Jesus is alive as well. We're going to see the harvest. Glory to God. Brother Wayne, we're going to see the harvest come in. Hallelujah. So Jesus, so Jesus to this world, tell him about Jesus. Say he's alive and well. Go up to him, Brother Gavin, go up to somebody and say, hey, can I tell you about Jesus today? Can I just tell you how he lives and how he can save your soul and how he can change your life from the life that you're living in? Glory to God, you can walk up to him. Brother James at school, you can tell him about Jesus Glory to God, you can tell them, uh, hallelujah, that He's alive. Uh, glory to God, we're here at uh, He's Alive Community Church. Uh, glory to God, we're here to tell the community that Jesus is alive. Uh, and that He's alive and well. Uh, glory to God, I can't wait. Uh, brother Adam, to hear uh, my people are going to be talking about the church. Uh, I can't wait to hear how they say amen. Uh, they're on fire for God. Uh, Say there's people being healed, uh, people being filled with the Holy Ghost. I've been telling people about people getting the Holy Ghost already. I believe I'm going to see more. Uh, we're going to see more souls. Uh, we're going to see people set free in the middle. We're going to be like a tree that's planted by the rivers of water. Glory to God. I appreciate the Lord. I love him for what he means to me. I was out here praying today. I thought I was going to preach on something else, but God changed it, brother. I told you, you being preachers, man, God will change it on you just like that. You might think, well, I've studied all week long. I've studied all month long. Man, when you stand up there behind that pulpit, boom, yeah. God will change it. Can I tell you, I was in Indiana. Our first revival. Glory to God, I studied all about two or three weeks, brother, and I 
studied on this one message. And I studied and I studied. I was going to a Baptist church. They didn't believe in shouting. They didn't believe in speaking in tongues. They didn't believe in none of that stuff. And I told my wife, I said, don't you sing one of them shouting songs. I said, don't you get up there and sing one of them. Get up there and sing Amazing Grace or something. Don't sing one of them shouting songs. And Brother Adam, we got up there and we opened up that church door to walk into that church. And when I walked in, the power of God slapped me right in the face. That church had been fasting for two months for this revival. And I didn't know it. And boy, I had this message all picked out. Boy, yeah. Man, I've studied this, Austin. I, this is my first big revival, you know. I studied and I studied. <coughs> Brother Josh, I studied and I studied. And I said, yeah, mm -hmm. man, I've got a good one. I've got a good one. And they turned it over after they done their singing and stuff. They turned it over to us. What did Nora do? She fired down and listened to me, devil. Tell you what I'm going to do. You've walked on me long enough. Now I'm going to walk on you. And I thought, oh, honey, I just asked you not to say something like that. I just asked you not to say something. I laid my Bible up there. And I had it open to where I was going to preach from. She sung that song, The Power of God Begin to Fall. And I walked over there to my Bible after she got done. And I said, And I... Uh, I can't preach that word here. I said, Who's changed my Bible? I didn't know where I even had it marked. Brother Gavin, I done missed my mark where I had the Scripture. My mind done... And I looked down and I said, uh, Lord, I can't do that. God said, I said, preach it. I said, God told me to preach this and I gotta do it. This ain't why somebody moved my scriptures. The God has took his hand and he has flipped the Bible over. And I I began to read. Brother Austin, I began to read the word of God. And where it said that he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost in fire, not many days. I said, Oh Lord God, I can't do that. God said, preach it. And I preached that message. Glory to God. And we had several of them get filled. Church that next night, the last night of the revival, 
That man came to the altar and gave his life to the Lord. Amen. That man was trying me. And he seen that I wasn't afraid. He seen that I didn't give in to him. Brother Adam and I just kept preaching the word of God. I was a tree that was planted by rivers of water. Amen. I just gave on Jesus. She gets a song. I just gave on Jesus. I sowed the seed of Jesus. 